zinc. These are metal, so these are hollow. They're called zincies or white bronze is the term that you'll hear for them. So they are, um, I'm trying to think of the word, crafted for the person who wants them. So you could pick out the toppings, you could pick out you know, each part and piece of it. You could have your initials put on it. And then they're put together, they're seamed and they're put together, but they are hollow. And um, you'll notice if you look just right next to it, the, the lichens on that, they don't grow, the zinc doesn't grow, it doesn't, um, it inhibits the lichen growth. And so once you know what the zincies are, and then you, you, you start spotting them in every cemetery you drive by, you're like, there's another one. So as we go through it today, maybe I'll give you a little nudge and say, do you recognize anything over here? But I think they're beautiful. They were considered a little tacky when they first came out, but then the panels you would have, inscribed isn't the right word, but uh, cast when someone passed away. So people said they were mail order. They weren't really mail order, they were specialty made, but then this piece you might order and get in the mail and then you would put it on. Is the zinc just impervious to all kinds of weather? I, it's, it's Peace. some something about zinc, Zinc's the one that you take when you get sick, right? And all I can think of is like zinc oxide. It's definitely got some properties to it that are unlike other metals. But, um, you know, again, when you start looking at the dates, I mean, this thing's 120 years old and it looks amazing. Again, next to a stone that's, that's not very old. So are they still used today? They are not still used today. They fell out of fashion in the, the 1920s and 30s, but people were still making the panels into the 30s and 40s.